what is the most important cinematic memory that you can't let go of? Just that I thought reminiscence. Sorry for those people who haven't seen it, but the day we shot my character dying in Logan, that's one. That's what. That's a moment I won't forget. My heart just bursting with that. going on a journey the time and the place it's where you've been before it's going to be one of the best interviews you've done with a Singaporean journalist all you have to do is follow my voice I'm, I'm ready let's go <laughs> after playing like Wolverine nine times is it nine times nine yeah how important was it to sort of approach new and original content like this after playing a franchise character for so long yeah, I think I've always looked for that. I mean, it's, by the way, every time I played Wolverine, I I felt like I was either discovering new things or searching for something like scratching an itch. I never felt like I really had got to the core of it. In general, I've always liked to do different stuff. I mean, people in the movies might know, know the amount of stuff I do on stage or plays or musicals or different things. So I'm constantly trying to challenge myself and I know I'm better when I'm doing different stuff somehow each thing feeds the other so to do something like this with a director like Lisa Joy a kind of character that has elements I guess of Wolverine in him but is very different and it's as a genre uh, it's very hard to describe the genre of this movie exactly it feels a bit like a little bit of everything everything that's what I thought it was like film noir but sci-fi and working with Lisa just felt like, uh, well, I've never read a movie like this before. And the brain of Lisa's to come up with something like this is so extraordinary. And I think for moviegoers, it's going to be something really fresh and original. So don't read up too much about it. Just go and see it with an open mind. Hey, Lisa, congratulations on the movie. Tell me, what was it like sort of to get Hugh Jackman? Because I know you pitched him without him actually reading the script. I, I am quite shy in person, but when I'm working, especially when it's a script, I enter this other zone where it really has nothing to do with me. It's just, it just seems like there's a, there's a, there's a world that wants to be built. And so I get strangely bolder because I forget myself. And for some reason, when I was um, ready to direct the film, I just knew, well, this is Hugh Jackman's movie and this must be Hugh Jackman. Uh, and so I, uh, asked my agents for his email and I just wrote him a letter explaining my passionate belief that he should be the star of my film. He didn't know me at all, but so I just wanted to talk to him about the film itself. And I felt like it's kind of like love, you know, I was like, if I feel so passionately about you, then surely perhaps you might feel the same way, you know, and, and that's how I felt about him in the script. I'm like, this is you. I really see you in it. And happily it was reciprocated. There was a lot of new tech that I read in filming this and how they manifested the images so that you guys can react to that. Can you maybe talk more about what it was the process like? Because that was so amazing. Genevieve, thanks for asking about that because I think people are going to see the movie and assume everything was done in a computer, a visual effect, but the reminiscence itself, which is a projection of the memory. So you're lying in a tank, you remember it, and I get to see it up on this machine and I watched the entire thing and I talked them through that thing. That was for real. I was really looking at the most beautiful hologram I'd ever seen in my life. I don't know if I'd ever seen a real hologram actually, but <laughs> I, it took them a year to, to work out how to do this and it had never been done on film before. And it was really actually time consuming and complicated. And I'm so glad you brought it up because it's certainly one of the, I think one of the unique parts of this movie. You know, I, I always believe that things seem difficult from the get go outside and but if you just throw yourself into an endeavor, especially with the right collaborators, 
you can make anything happen. And, and the thing I wanted to happen was a working hologram machine. <laughs> I was going to ask, where does one go high? Where can I get a working hologram machine? <laughs> like, <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, it was a blend of, of technologies, really, you know, and I remember standing there at a whiteboard thinking, well, my mom's desires for me to be an engineer never came to pass, but I am trying to design this machine right now. And just using common sense, I was like, well, I think it should have this sort of curvature. And uh, in order to dimensionalize it and make it fully a 360 experience and distinguish it from other more planar um, hologram. I was like, thank God I focused on maths and sciences growing up because I'm, I'm ready for this moment. <laughs> what is the most important cinematic memory that you can't let go of? Is that I thought reminiscence. Sorry for those people who haven't seen it, but the day we shot my character dying in Logan. That's one, that's what, that's a moment I won't forget. Do you know what? My heart just bursting with that. Logan was an amazing finish to a wonderful character for you. So thank you so much, Hugh. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. You too. Come back to Singapore. You bet. I can't wait. Trust me. Thank you. I wanted to say it was so fun as for, for, for your first feature. It's got Lisa Joy written all over it. Thank you. It's so good to see you again. And by the way, you are still my fashion icon. This is- Thank you so much. Come back to Singapore. I remember you said you want to write here. And I want to eat there. Come back here. We'll take care of you. Awesome. Awesome. Love to see you again. <laughs>